Belgium will commit to providing 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028, according to Belgian Foreign Minister Haja Labib. She said that the first fighter jets are to be delivered to Ukraine by the end of the year. According to her, this commitment will be officially formalized in a security guarantees agreement, which will be signed today by Ukraine and Belgium. The Belgian Ministry of Defense will also transfer ammunition from its stockpiles to equip the F-16s for Ukraine. According to the minister, this support for Kyiv is necessary to stop Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, who is determined to push back the borders of European countries and ensure the security of Belgium. Last year, Ukraine and its allies formed an aviation coalition with the goal of providing Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. The transfer of aircraft will occur gradually. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine needs more than 100 aircraft in total to achieve parity of forces in the air. Recently, the first group of Ukrainian pilots completed training in Arizona. They are now heading to Europe for further training. Spain has announced to send Patriot missiles and Leopard tanks to Ukraine as part of a $1.23 billion weapon package announced last month, El Pais newspaper reported, citing unidentified sources close to the operation. So, Spain plans to send 19 Leopard 2A4 tanks to Ukraine by September to strengthen its defenses against Russia in the ongoing war. General Dynamics European Land Systems has been chosen to provide all of the commissioning services for the tanks. All units will undergo thorough overhaul and maintenance procedures, replacing any defective parts and reassembling their systems to ensure full operation and effectiveness before being sent to Kiev. Work for the vehicles will be carried out at their Alcala de Guadera factory in Seville. The delivery is the second batch of Leopard tanks sent from Madrid to Ukraine, following the initial transfer of six in 2023. The new weapon delivery commitment will be announced during an official visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Madrid, where he will meet with Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and King Felipe, the paper said. The worth of the package was approved last month by the government, though it did not specify which weapons were included. The governor of Russia's Krasnodar region, Vinyamin Kondratyev, said that the drone's debris damaged an unfinished building in the village of Krenitsa. There are vineyards and a winery there, which may be the residence of the Russian president. Another drone flew to the Dzankot farm, located very close to Putin's palace in Galenzik. On the night of May 17, UAVs were already flying near Putin's residence. Not far from the village of Zanhat on Cape Idacopas there is an estate and palace built, according to numerous investigations, for Russian President Vladimir Putin. In the village of Krenitsa, the old province winery was built to process grapes grown on the estate. In 2021, Putin said that the palace does not belong to him and he has never been there. The construction of the Italianate Palace complex first came to the public's attention in 2010 through an open letter sent to then-President Dmitry Medvedev from whistleblower Sergei Kolesnikov. FBK and Proect identified significant changes in the paintings displayed in the palace's common spaces. The relatively neutral romantic frescoes are now reproductions of paintings of historical battles, such as the Battle of Borodino in 1812 and the Battle on the Ice in 1242. Step into what was the music room, and you'll now find artwork devoted to famous Russian naval figures like Pavel Nakamov and Fyodor Ushakov.